that the, is that the funniest thing? Uh, wait, we have breaking news for the Browns. I'm actually not kidding. Uh, Ian Rappaport, the Browns have signed former Jets core special teamer Justin Hardy. Hey, Cleveland, we back. Hey, my boy Jay Hardy back in Cleveland. Uh, and take this, it, uh, it's from Ian Rappaport. Breaking news. I mean. Is, what do you know about Justin Hardy? Tell the Browns. Special teams demon. That's what he is. First of all, he's from Cleveland. Went to Glenville. Shout out to the Ville. Yeah. Uh, sorry. <coughs> sorry about that, uh, Earl. I know you hate them. Uh, shout out to the Ville. But, yeah, Justin is a demon on the. He's been all pro for special teams. Gunner. Obviously, this is one of those uh, Bubba Ventrone moves you needed to replace, you know, uh, Mike Ford. So, you got a guy now who's a really good at special teams. Uh, he going to give you everything. I mean, yeah. listen, that man, he, he, he lost his mother tragically. And he said from that moment on, he's made everything about his mother. He plays hard for his mother. Yeah. He wears the chain with the picture of her on it. And you're going to get the best out of him. Everything he's got, and he's in Cleveland, and he's from Cleveland, yeah. he's, you're going to get everything you got from him. So that's a really good signing by the Cleveland Browns. I, I was going to make fun of Mike for, you know, like there should be a level to breaking news. That's big news. The level he's all pro. Story. He's an all pro gunner. He's like, like the a Browns could sign a new cleaning lady, and, and Mike would go, breaking news. Flow from uh, the, the progressive, progressive, progressive. Version, the new cleaning lady <laughs> at uh, the Browns facility. But then you talk about his mother in yep. Cleveland. I can't make fun now. Well, sounds like a good addition. It's a great addition. Jason, you excited about this? Sure. Dang. <laughs> Anytime you're from Cleveland and you get to play yeah, in Cleveland, it's, a big deal. it's always him, something. Yeah, it's yeah. Wait, I'm getting word. G. Bush says he's going to have 750 yards on offense. <laughs> I just got that from G. Bush. That's breaking news right there. All right, so Justin Hardy, the Browns are not done in free agency. This drips and drabs at this point. Free agency is basically over. Are there any significant names still out there in free agency? Justin Simmons. Another, uh, another great Hulk. guy, probably the best guy I've ever met in, in, in my NFL career. Damn. He was it's like a real stand-up guy, just a great dude, man. And he's a dog on the field. Better than Russ? Better than Russ. Better than Johnny Menzel? Better than, way better than Have you ever Johnny met Johnny Menzel? I've never met Johnny Menzel, but I can tell you that Justin Simmons is probably better. Probably a nicer human being. Yeah. Just Johnny? to give people a little context <laughs> and a little more background on Justin Hardy, he was a 2022 Pro Bowler on special teams. He's been in the league since 20, uh, 2017. He is from Cleveland, Ohio. He has very little actual stats that aren't special teams. And by very little, I mean legitimately very little. He signed a three-year, $5.5 million deal with the Jets back in 2021. Isn't he a receiver? He's a corner. He was a receiver in college. college yeah. Oh, he went to Illinois. As a oh, that makes more sense. But now he's Undrafted a free agent, has bounced around on a few practice squads, but since... Finding a home in New Orleans in 2017. He was a very productive special teams player with the Saints. Then he signed with the Jets on a multi-year deal. He played in 16 regular season games in 2021. Made 12 combined tackles. He forced a fumble on Gunnar <coughs> Ozwelski. I always pronounce his name wrong. Gunner Ozuski. Ozuski when he was playing against the Pittsburgh Steelers. So he already hates Pittsburgh. So that's a great thing yeah. to add into the locker room. Uh, he had 14 tackles and one forced fumble in 17 regular season games on special teams in 2022. And on October 14th of 2023, he was placed on IR with a hamstring injury. Uh, did not record many stats, right. but well, good for him. Justin Hardy, special teams ace, welcome home. Good for him. It's got to be. Do you know him? Yeah. I, you know what? Yeah. When, we, when we played the Jets on that Thursday night game, as yeah. I was coming in the stadium, yeah. he was getting off the bus, and I, we stood there and talked for a while. And after Joe Flacco won the game, his yeah. words to Joe was, hey, bring my city a championship. So oh, that's cool. it's important to It's got to be very exciting for him. Oh, it's huge for him. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool. So we're rooting for him. Mm -hmm. Good for him. Uh, <clears throat> is he about your age? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, good for Justin Hardy. Good. Sounds like a smart addition. Yeah. Uh, you, you mean know, you want to make a splash? You want to make a splash on special he teams? Yeah, that right there is a guy who's going to be passionate about it. Um, he's he probably Bubba Ventrone probably could see himself in him because yeah. he's made his niche in the NFL off of special teams, so he takes it very seriously. Brings leadership, bring attitude, bring that dog. And like I said, he's from Cleveland, so he's going you're going to get everything he's got. The Browns for years have been terrible on special teams. Last year, obviously, their kicking game improved yeah. big time. Their punting game improved big time. Yep. Now they make this addition. They also signed Naheem Hines as a return guy. Mm -hmm. So they're really putting some uh, importance into special teams. We well, got to find a way to get an edge. You know, like defense has come along. Offense is going to be a challenge this year because it's new. 
So what is something else that people don't really pay a lot of energy and time and focus to? You know, some some organizations say, hey, go do special teams for 10, 15 minutes. You know, it is what it is. Some people are locked in, like we need to lock in to what yeah. we're doing. So it seems like to me the Cleveland Browns are starting to become that organization that actually locks in. I mean, now that the kicking game is back alive, especially right. on the return side. Well, there's new like, rules. Yeah. You don't know what the exactly are going to be. So in you, you want to you know. have guys that can make plays, and that seems to be what they they seem to be doing with the Himes and the Hardy signing. All right, Mike, let's get to this. Uh, one, one more thing, and I got to read. Yeah. But Hardy was a special teams captain for the Jets. He was the one that told Joe Flacco to go win a championship for my city when he signed with Cleveland. Tyvis just signed that. I know, I'm just, I'm just giving you guys the last little, last <laughs> little bit of context here. And yeah. I'm curious if the new special teams rules and the kickoff specifically has any impact on how they view using Justin Hardy. Yeah, Hart. sure. I, I, it, all these, these new <laughs> rules to make the kicking game more of a real play has made special teams even more important. It's interesting. <clears throat> how often do you burn a spot on the 53 for just special teams. You have guys who excel at special teams, but they also contribute elsewhere. Yeah. But when you have a guy who is just a special teams guy, I can't think of very many. Am I wrong? Well, you got to be – you have special. to be Matt very Slater special. Yeah. In New Matthew Slater, Nate Ebner, go Bucks. Um, guys like that, you know. But there's not – I mean, these It's spots, not many. No. It's these not spots many. Are so remember precious. Remember uh, the guy in the Bills back in the day was a Tasker. Tom. It's a, Asker, right. it's a dude that I played with in the senior bowl. He plays for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Miles Killebrew. He's like right. that dude now. Really good on special teams. Well, and if you think about it, the Browns have a really good cornerback room. They can yeah. afford for their fifth corner or whatever to be a guy who's not really going to play hey, you never, until injury starts. Hey, you never know. I mean, listen, he, he's up there in age, so maybe it ain't the same, but... You know, he got taught in New Orleans how to play corner, and he made a couple of plays. That was preseason. He made sure. a couple of plays in the preseason. Like, it's, 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 he's a work in progress when it comes to DB right. because he's been a receiver his entire yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. So, I think if, if guys start to get hurt and you're down to your fifth, sixth guy, yeah. like, right. he can get you through a game. Where do you go to 